<laughs> All right. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. We got behind the scenes. We've got the scenes. And uh, I think I'm ready to start this we're, video. We're, I think we practiced yeah, enough. We were ready. <laughs> We may or may not have practiced multiple times in no, preparation for this video. Yes. But this video is a big deal, y'all. Like, this is a really big deal. So, um, you know, there's a lot, not necessarily writing on this video, but I feel like this build in general has a ton of history. And for those of you that have participated in book club, you know how much um, Smokey Eunuch means to Danny and also now to me since he's introduced me to Smokey Eunuch, the legend that is Smokey Eunuch. Um, and there's just like so much that is just so fascinating about him, not just his personality <laughs> and um, and his creativity, but all of his inventions, the cars that he's built. So, all right, I guess that gets into this video. So, hey YouTube, it's Faye. And, okay. <laughs> and for today's video, uh, we're here at Hill Country Performance The Machine, actually in the back part of the shop. Um, it's a little change of scenery for y'all. a little bit, and we're, we're here with, with the Smoky Unique Hot Vapor Plymouth Horizon. Absolutely. So, as the title says, who the heck cares about a Plymouth Horizon, right? Is that the car that you would necessarily like choose for a build? Um, and in this case, the answer is yes. This is a super historic car. This car has a lot of meaning. It is not just any Plymouth Horizon. This is Smokies. Yes, Plymouth and Horizon. typically you wouldn't think of a Plymouth Horizon as Smokey Unic. What does that have to do with racing? No, and, no, and, you think and, of the Chevelle or something like that. Yes, <laughs> and, and Smokey was, in, in his uh, latter part of his years, he cared about the environment. He cared about the environment. That's just three. So he started changing his direction into fuel economy, into CO2 gases, into he was he had solar panels and a wind generator in his shop. So this is uh, his attempt to save the world uh, um, in in hydrocarbons. So we're getting uh, 50 miles per gallon, 250 horsepower, and 50 miles per gallon in the Plymouth Horizon. And it's just a family car, but he thought all of uh, commuters sh should have a hot vapor engine. That is, okay, so there is obviously a ton to unpack in, here. Yes. In so that we'll start by introducing the car, but I want you all to stay tuned, not just on my channel for more about this car, but also on Danny's channel, because we're going to be bringing this car back to life. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some of the original tests that Soki had done. Exactly. You might yep. see that on the back of the bumper, there's an interesting hitch there. Um, Danny's going to get into more about what that is all about on his channel. We might even test it in the future. Mm -hmm. But this is a part of Smokey's history that I think gets lost on people, because we think about him as this badass racer, which he, which he is and was. No you know, doubt. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a, a unique side of him that I feel like history is lost um, in the storytelling of, of the his legacy and, and the inventions that he's brought to us. So without further ado, let's hop right into an introduction of this car. Danny, what is this car we're working on right now? 1983 Plymouth Horizon. <laughs> that used to belong to Smokey Unit. I'd like to call it, it still is, but you know, now it's in our care. Then he built a hot vapor engine he put his whole system in it, vaporizer, homogenizer, all the different components on it. And this was in the car, this was in, on the videos, the car and driver, uh, hot rod magazine, popper mechanics have all done articles on this. And then at the end, he pulled this out because he pulled every engine out of all the hot vapor cars. All the manufacturers wanted their cars back. GM wanted the car back and they crushed that little, the, the Fiero. But Smokey had the original engine. Smokey had the original engine of the Chrysler. Smokey had the original engine of the, of the GM Sunbird, which no one even knows existed. So Smokey has all these original engines. He always kept. One, one, one idea with Smokey is if he built you an engine for NASCAR, for anything, he kept the engine when he was done. So at the end, he had every engine he ever built, whatever, still in his archives. So Tony found the Fiero that looked the same as, an, you know, the same year and everything. And then he restored it and put the original hot vapor in it, drove it for two years, and then donated it to the Don Garlic Museum. That's the one in the Don Garlic Museum. It is an original hot vapor engine, but it's not the original car. GM crushed that car. The only reason this car didn't get crushed, Trish thought it was crushed. The only reason it didn't get crushed was because Chrysler didn't want the liabilities, so they sold him the car for a dollar. So he kept the car. Everybody else gave him a car, but when it was all said and done, oh, we need it for development, we need it back, we need yeah, it. Yeah. So if they sell it for a dollar, they get to write the full amount off of their books. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that's what, so they get the full the full credit of advertisement and they get the full so that's how this car survived. And but he just sold it somewhere along the line? Yes, yes. It was sold, I don't know if at, at his auction 
or how because Trish still don't even remember the full we thought it was it was gone until one of our customers says I saw it on eBay and it's like yeah you did you know but how do we know it's the original car a Swedish magazine came to visit Smokey if you watch Dino Days on YouTube you'll see Smokey in the car talking about it you'll see him doing burnouts in it and see it running and you can see it underneath the hood also, they've given us a bunch of black and whites and original stuff when they did that article. So they were at Smokey's shop. Okay, how do we know this is an original car? In his writings, even in his books, he said, this is phase one of an adiabatic engine. So phase one means we're using its own energy back into itself. So adiabatic just means it doesn't take or give. There's no, no such thing as 100% adiabatic right now, but this is phase one. Automotive engineers, they don't know how to deal with heat. So what do they do? They take it away from the engine as fast as they can. Mm -hmm. How do they do that? Oil coolers, radiators, uh, all these different ways to remove the heat because they don't know what to do with it. But yet you use the energy to make that heat. When you put gas in your car, all that energy you put into it and you're only using 30% to push the piston down. The rest is going out the pipe or going out the atmosphere. So what does Smokey do? And that's how we know it's the original car. A, we know because we have the title. Look at the radiator. He said it doesn't need a full radiator on phase one because we're using a lot of that heat. Phase two or three, not going to have a radiator at all. We're not even going to have a radiator. But phase one, which this is one, this is the most refined one, he took and made a half radiator. This is made by Harris. So he had Harris make him his radiator. And if you notice, he blocked off this spot. There's a bolt where he actually drilled right there for this mini radiator. So we're very fortunate that this didn't come out and he just put a regular radiator in it. So when he put a stock motor in it, he just left his half radiator. So it would have probably overheated. Who knows? Yeah, I was going to say that that was enough to keep this thing cool. Well, it enough. is because in this version, all the heat could go into the vaporizer. Yeah, but in this version. Yes, but it never ran that long. It only has 9,000 original miles. So who knows? Uh, it never actually got titled. It never got titled. It never was put on the road. That's why I can't put it in my name because, you know, I'd have to... Well, whoever owned it, they didn't title it, they didn't run you know, it No, the they, they bought it, it stayed in, it went to a shop a few blocks or whatever from Smokey's shop, and they were going to re, uh, do the brakes, do the fuel and everything, and he was going to give it to his, to his um, wife because she drove one in high school. And it was in, in that stage that I got involved and said, oh, stop, don't do anything else to it. Yeah, because if it would have continued, that would have been history. That would have been gone. And if you look inside the car... That's another very important thing. It still has the gauges that he put in for boost, vacuum, oil, still water. Oh still water. Well, yeah. Those would have come stuff. out. Those were about to be ripped out. No shit. Wow, man, you got a you got a rare find here. But I guess you knew that when you. Well, when you yeah, saw you it. just even finding the car and then having it not molested is really is so. All of the gauges are all hooked up right now to that engine, but they un un undo and they go onto the hot How did you find this? Were you act actively like searching? I'm for always it? searching. I have a search thing on eBay to find anything smoke unit. I have it on my search thing. One of our customers found it. The engine was at a shop. You know, we had the engine display there at the shop. Yeah. And he came and he was looking. He's all like, oh my God, I love this. Thunder. And then a day or two later, he on his own went to go read about smoke unit and everything else. And then he comes in and says, you know, I found the car. We're like, no, the car was cr cr that was crushed. I know it was crushed. Or as far as Trish knew, it was crushed. So I got to believe. And then it's like, no, it's on eBay. I'm like, yeah, right. You know, it's not. It's on eBay. Wow. Yeah. So a it's a, a whole story, bunch of strokes a lot, right? But it's all like I said. It still has the, the Chrysler oil filter on it. You may know the uh, the Fiero that's in the Dun Garlic oh, Museum. Oh, the Fiero. That was in yes. Hot Rod Magazine, and that's one of the more, more popular hot yep. vapor cars. Um, but that's all that's all that anybody may know about. But f very few people know even about that car. Right, unless but, they're in book club. Yeah, <laughs> unless they're in book club. So that gives you a name to join book club. Join book and, club. Yes, and so shameless self promotion. The bottom <laughs> of the book club. And, and the book club is just for for enlightenment of who Smokey was. Right. And right. and the more we get into Smokey, he's he's multi layers. It's not just a one layered person. It's like an onion. We got to break break it apart. So. He, he wanted to, to, to save the world by giving you more miles per gallon. On an internal combustion engine, 70% of the energy goes out the, out the door, out, right. out the pipe. So this is an attempt, and this is phase one attempt at extracting all that extra heat and putting it back into right. the engine. Right, harnessing that energy that would otherwise be lost. Yeah, so we have the original bill of sale with Smokey's signature on it. He never even titled the car. It's <gasps> never been titled. Um, it has 9,000 original miles. 
and it's just an original pristine car it wasn't it didn't look like this to, to, to begin with we're, and i think we're gonna ha gonna show what the car looked like um, yes. but yes. We, we have to be real uh, careful that in restoring the car that we actually restore it and don't put our take into it so Absolutely. we want to make it back to the way he had the car you know so what you actually it was in Daytona Beach, Florida. So Daytona Beach, Florida, everything is rusted. So the brakes were rusted shut. I mean, everything was just rusted, rusted, rusted. We've been underneath the car. Yeah, we actually did a lot of work to the brakes, but we were so excited about the project that we forgot to film it. Forgot so to you're just going to trust us that the, we got the The cameras were set and we may, <laughs> in, in, in some views. Maybe we'll find that footage, I don't know. Yes, there lost. is some footage on there, but we weren't really trying to even it's weird because when we work in the car, we kind of forget about ourselves. Yeah. We forget about the camera. We just get into. We just, we're with the car. Like, yeah. Just it's, just, it, it, it's a different vibe. A very different vibe. E yeah. Even when we put a wrench on something, turn it. You, you remember this? We were doing the brakes, or we are doing the brakes, and this was on the A-frame. We found a screwdriver. Yes. I'll be dead. I reached up there and it fell down to the ground. Well, that's a collector's item right there. Huh? It it is so. Every little thing we, 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 that we find is just amazing. And I, I actually needed it to do the brakes. Yeah, we just oh, used it. <laughs> you put it there for us, I guess. I don't know, but. <laughs> there was actually a screwdriver that was in the car that had been dropped in the car a long time ago. So every, every bit of working on this car has felt like we're part of a time capsule and that like we're literally making history and when i said that i just got shivers it's, like it, it, it is really it's because you, special it's it is it, it is special i'm glad that that you, you feel the same way that i feel about it we're we're we've just like it's not even our car no it's, it's not our it's, car. it's we're caretakers of we it. are caretakers of history and that that's a big responsibility that we have i think which is why this series um, that's gonna be like I said mainly on Danny's channel, but I'm gonna be sharing as well Like that's why the series I feel like is so important because I feel like Smokey Udick's history um, Those who have have written history have done quite a bit of disservice to the real Smokey So we're gonna do our best to try to decipher um, Who is this amazing person that is Smokey Unick through really like restoring this car? So stay tuned don't go anywhere subscribe to this channel stay stay watching what we're doing subscribe to Danny's channel Keep an eye out if you're interested in being part of this history um it, along with us so. yeah yeah enjoy the ride enjoy the ride with us we're, we're going to preserve the car and we've done a pretty good job of that thanks to rick thanks and to it's, rick. it's going to be this this trifecta of, of videos it takes right. it takes more what it takes a village right and, and it takes it takes a village to restore and the cars looks amazing <laughs> yep. uh, uh thanks thanks to rick and hard 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 work hard labor and, yes and and so we're gonna we're we're bringing the car back to life all right i'm watching Yep. It cranks. All right. Okay. Yep. No fuel yet. Second attempt. Fire in the hole. No fuel. No fuel. Now that we've done that, now it's going to be time to actually put the original hot vapor engine back in the car. We have the wheel that hung on the back of it. We have the components that were missing, the originals, not not stuff we've had to make up. Right. So we originally have all the components. Right. We're going to put all those components back in the car and like Amish to Smokey, we're going to prove everybody who, oh, it didn't work and oh, it didn't do this. We're going to hang the wheel in the back of the car again. We're going to do the miles, you know, uh, uh, the miles per gallon. Right. The zero to 60 yep. and the quarter mile time. Right. And also, all of that being said, these hot vapor engines without catalytic converters passed full emissions. So there's got to be some way for us to test emissions too oh, yeah, and no, prove that they were burning clean as well. So. Yes, and we have several hot vapor engines. So um, I have a little bit of, a, of, a, of, I've gotten the engine uh, where it'll, it'll run. I restored some of the parts that were, that were corroded, yep. um, but tried not to, to 
I'm not gonna use that engine for development. I have another hot vapor engine, with smoke units hot vapor engines. Um, we don't have the car to go with that one. So we may dissect that one a little bit further. Yep. But we're most definitely gonna put all kinds of data that we can on here that doesn't hurt the car. Right. And you know, we'll, we'll, we'll sniff it. We'll put an O2 sensor on it. Yeah. You know, yep. we'll, we'll do any kind of data that we can do on it um, to get the data from here. It's already a running car. We have a running engine. Let's put them together and let's just have some fun and just show everybody this is a real car, you know, so. Right, it's not, it's not just a myth. It's not a myth, it's not a myth. Um, it's not a legend, it's a horizon, people. Yes. So anyway, <laughs> this, is the first, this is the first video of our premier trifecta. So as soon as this video is over, go ahead and click on the link below, check out Danny's upcoming video. And after that, of course, we'll be showing one of Rick's videos as well as he helps us restore this paint back to as original quality as possible in order to honor Smoke Eunuch in restoring this car. So that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you on Danny's channel. Bye! Over there.